In today's episode, you will learn how to monitor the blood oxygen and BPM values on Blink application and I2C supported 128 by 64 OLED display module using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module and Max 3100 pulse oximeter. This video is sponsored by PCBWay. Feel free to visit their website pcbway.com. To not only find out what awesome PCB and assembly services they offer, but also to easily upload your Gerber files and thus order affordable and high quality PCBs quickly. The sign up process hardly takes one minute and you are welcomed with a $5 welcome bonus. The blood oxygen and BPM or heart rate values can be monitored in real time using the OLED display module. And the same values can also be monitored from anywhere around the world using the Blink application. In my previous tutorial, I monitored the blood oxygen and BPM values wirelessly using an Android application designed in Android Studio, Arduino Nano, and HC05 Bluetooth module. In this tutorial, I also displayed the values on the I2C supported 16 into 2 LCD. In today's tutorial, we will cover number one, modified circuit diagram explanation. Number two, Max 3100 Node MCU ASP8266 programming. Number three, Blink application designing. Number four, soldering. And finally, number five, testing. Without any further delay, let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. This is the Max 3100 pulse oximeter used for monitoring the blood oxygen and BPM. I have already explained the very basics in my previous tutorials. I will provide links in the description. I have been using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module for quite a long time. In different IoT based projects. I have already covered the extreme basics including the Node MCU ASP8266 board manager installation, Blink library downloading and so many other things. I'll provide links to all the related tutorials in the description. Just like the Arduino Uno, Node MCU ASP8266 can also be used to communicate with the I2C supported devices. If you look at the pinout of the Node MCU ASP8266, you will find D1 is the SCL and D2 is the SDA. So using these two pins, multiple I2C supported devices can be connected with the Node MCU ASP8266. In this project, we are using two I2C supported devices, the OLED display module and the Max30 100 pulse oximeter. This is the I2C supported 128 by 64 OLED display module that we will use for displaying the blood oxygen and PPM values. For more details, watch my getting started tutorial on the OLED display modules. The circuit diagram as you can see is very simple. There is nothing complicated. A 5 volt regulated power supply based on the LM7805 voltage regulator is used to power up the Node MCU ASP8266 Wi Fi module. D1 and D2 pins of the Node MCU module, which are the SCL and SDA pins, are connected with the SCL and SDA pins of the Max3100 and OLED display module, while the voltage and ground pins of both the modules are connected with the 3.3 volt and ground pins of the Node MCU ASP8266 Wi Fi module. This PCB is manufactured by the PCBA company. As you can see, the quality is really great. The cell screen is quite clear and the Blake solar mask looks amazing. This small area can be used for soldering small electronics. So basically, you can use this PCB as the development board for making IoT related projects using Node MCU ASP8266. I completed the soldering job as per the circuit diagram already explained. 
make sure there is no short circuit between the SCL and SDA pins while soldering the wires for the OLED display module and the MAX 3100. These are the female headers I added for the OLED display module and the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter. These are the wires I used to connect the SCL and SDA pins of the MAX 3100 and OLED display module. The white and black wires are the 3.3 volt and ground connected with the power supply pins of both the modules. Finally, I started off by adding the OLED display module and the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter. Now let's make the blink application follow the same exact steps. Our application is ready. Now let's take a look at the programming. As usual before you start the programming, first of all make sure you download all the necessary libraries from our website electronicclinic.com. The MAX 3100 pulse oximeter code remains the same as I explained in my previous tutorial. This time I added code for the NodeMCO module so that I can send the BPM and oxygen values to the Blink application. I also added code for the OLED display module. For more detailed explanation read my article available on electronicclinic.com. I have already uploaded this program. Let's watch this project in action. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you like today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.